work up a sweat for half an hour and recharge your lithium batteries. That's how it works at the Berlin Fitness Club Gold's Gym, where muscle power is turned into electricity. The result is cell phones or MP3 players can be charged by physical performance. What do members think? Well, initially I thought it was just a gimmick, but then I thought, actually, it's pretty cool because it gets you wondering how you can make a difference in terms of energy production and consumption, that it's not just about taking, but also about making a contribution, and that's a great thing in principle. Top sportsmen or women can produce two kilowatts of energy for a brief moment. A person of average fitness can produce around 100 watts during a workout session. By hooking up cross trainers and bikes to a generator, René Eick has found a way of utilizing this expended energy in his fitness club. The cables lead from the 19 machines to here. You can see them going along into the switch box. From here, the electricity is channeled into the storage battery, which you can see here. And then it goes back to the individual machines, where you can charge your cell phone or MP3 player. Ike turned his fitness studio green on his own initiative. He's invested 4,000 euros in the project, and explains what motivated him. I find technology fascinating and the challenge of having a problem to solve. Another factor was to do something for the fitness studio. And of course, the idea that this could encourage people to think more about the environment and give them a greater awareness. Projects that marry lifestyle and environmental awareness are increasingly common. For example, sustainable nightclubs, like this one in the Dutch city of Rotterdam. The dance floor bounces, and the energy it produces powers the lighting system. The British design and architecture company Facility Innovate also develops ideas like these. The basic principle is to harness human energy produced by movement and utilize it in the form of electrical energy. Gold's Gym in Berlin is a pioneer on the European fitness market and its boss wants to make the club greener still. We want to take a look at the lighting system to see what long-term changes can be made to the cost-benefit ratio. We also want to see what can be done to make things more efficient when it comes to hot water consumption, to pay attention to details such as environmentally friendly showers, for example. René Eick plans to patent his concept and continue plowing new energy into his man or woman-powered fitness studio.